Sakura Haruno is one of the most hated characters in the Naruto fandom. Lots of fans regard her as being stupid, some call her dumb, while some feel like she isn't powerful enough to reach up to her fellow Team 7 members, Naruto and Sasuke. You want to know my opinions about her, stick to the end of the video. In today's video, we will be looking at reasons why Sakura is regarded as stupid. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sakura, the daughter of Kizashi and Mebuki Haruno, grew up in a nurturing environment without experiencing any significant hardships unlike her fellow teammates. However, upon joining Konoha's academy, Sakura faced ridicule from some girls in her class due to her prominent forehead. She attempted to conceal it by hiding it with her bangs, but this only intensified the bullying she endured. Ino Yamanaka, a fellow classmate, witnessed Sakura's plight and took a stand against the bullies, urging Sakura to embrace her unique feature rather than trying to hide it. After Sakura enrolled in the academy, she encountered Sasuke Uchiha and developed romantic feelings for him. When she confided in her friends about her crush, she was surprised to discover Sasuke's immense popularity among the girls. Rumors circulated that Sasuke was attracted to girls with long hair prompting Sakura to grow her hair in an attempt to catch his attention. A few years later, Sakura discovered that her friend Ino also harbored feelings for Sasuke, which led her to abruptly end their friendship. This decision marked the beginning of a bitter rivalry between the two girls as they vied for Sasuke's affection. Once they were assigned to their respective teams, Sakura approached Ino and confessed her feelings for Sasuke only to learn that Ino shared the same sentiments. This revelation further fueled their animosity towards each other, setting the stage for their initial dislike at the start of the series. After constantly being in the shadows of her fellow teammates, Sakura ended up developing herself to a large extent and improving on her skills. Sakura Haruno possesses the Chakra Enhanced Strength Technique, which she learned from Tsunade Senju, the fifth Hokage. This ability enables her to infuse her fist with a significant amount of chakra, allowing her to deliver powerful blows to her adversaries. It is believed that just one punch from Sakura can defeat most enemies. She has utilized this technique extensively throughout the Naruto series, showcasing her immense strength and skill as a kunoichi. The Chakra Enhanced Strength technique demonstrates Sakura's impressive chakra control and establishes her as a highly powerful and capable ninja. Sakura Haruno also has the Mystical Palm technique which she mastered under the guidance of Tsunade Senju. This technique allows Sakura to coat her palms with chakra and channel it directly to the body of a wounded or ill target. By doing so, she can greatly accelerate their healing process and restore them to optimal conditions within a few minutes. Sakura's proficiency in the mystical palm technique surpasses that of other characters in the story, making it one of her most significant abilities as a skilled medical ninja. Sakura could also perform her own sealing jutsu by summoning Katsuyu. Katsuyu is a powerful slug summon known for its exceptional healing abilities in the Naruto world. Sakura Haruno along with Tsunade Senju possesses the ability to summon Katsuyu. Sakura acquired this power during the 4th Great Ninja War, showcasing her growth as a skilled medical ninja. By summoning Katsuyu, Sakura demonstrated her prowess and stood alongside formidable allies like Naruto and Sasuke. With Katsuyu's assistance, Sakura could heal multiple individuals simultaneously while keeping her own strength intact, underscoring her effectiveness as a medical ninja. Let's now talk about some mistakes Sakura made that made the fans regard her as stupid. In the early stages of the series, Sakura faced challenges in keeping up with her teammates Naruto and Sasuke. This was not entirely her fault as combat prowess did not come naturally to her. Sakura's limitations became evident during the Team 7's mission to protect Tazuna from Sabuza and Haku. Despite the mission turning out to be more dangerous than expected, Naruto and Sasuke rose to the occasion and fought alongside Kakashi against the assassins. In contrast, Sakura found herself in a position where she could only watch and provide limited assistance while guarding Tazuna. Sakura initially displayed remarkable skills and abilities within Team 7. She was known for her exceptional intelligence, possessing the highest level of strategic thinking among her teammates. Additionally, Sakura demonstrated superb chakra control, a talent that was highly regarded. Even Kakashi acknowledged her proficiency in Genjutsu. 
However, despite these early accomplishments, Sakura often find herself regarded as the weakest member of the team. While she exhibited promising talent early on, such as mastering tree climbing using Chakra, she struggled to keep pace with the rapid advancements of Naruto and Sasuke. Since then, Sakura's progress has been overshadowed by her teammates' remarkable growth and achievements. Following Sasuke's departure from Konohagakure and his transformation into an enemy of the village, Sakura made the effort to let go of her feelings for him. She believed that she needed to confront Sasuke and stop him to protect the village. However, whenever Sakura encountered Sasuke, she found herself at a significant disadvantage. Whether due to her lack of strength or her hesitancy to deliver a fatal blow, Sakura was unable to effectively challenge Sasuke. Her moments of hesitation left her vulnerable and she came close to her losing her life at the hands of Sasuke on multiple occasions. So she couldn't actually bring herself to attack Sasuke and this made people call her stupid. Also, Sakura had relied on Naruto's promise to bring Sasuke back to the village but as the situation grew more complicated and dire, she found herself faced with a difficult choice. In an effort to prevent Naruto from pursuing Sasuke, Sakura confessed her feelings for him. Despite her good intentions, Sakura recognized that her actions were misguided. She believed that by confessing to Naruto, she could use his crush on her to overshadow his unbreakable bond with Sasuke and protect him. However, this was a foolish and erroneous belief on her part. In the early stages of the series, it was understandable that Sakura as a novice ninja would rely on her teammates for protection against stronger adversaries. However, after undergoing training with Tsunade, it was expected that Sakura would become more capable of defending herself. Although Sakura demonstrated her skills in the memorable battle against Sasori, it is notable that she still needed assistance from both Kakashi and Naruto to prevent fatal strikes from Sasuke, her future husband. Even during their final confrontation with Madara, Sakura found herself in a position where she had to be saved by Naruto and Sasuke after being carelessly stabbed. It is unfortunate that despite her hard work leading up to the Fort Shinobi War, Sakura still had to rely on others to come to her rescue. One of the peculiar criticisms aimed at Sakura is the absence of a signature attack jutsu comparable to Naruto, Sasuke, and many other characters in the series. However, it's worth noting that Sakura's character has always been focused on her exceptional physical strength and impeccable chakra control, positioning her as a formidable support fighter rather than a purely offensive one. Moreover, as the story progresses, Sakura does acquire a signature jutsu known as the 100 Healings Jutsu, which she learns from Tsunade. This jutsu possesses an extraordinary capacity for recovery and can be considered not only Sakura's strongest and signature technique but also one of the most potent signature jutsus throughout the entire series. Another decision of Sakura's that has received a fair amount of criticism is her hesitation to harm an individual, particularly when they appear to have transitioned from foe to friend. As a fully trained medical ninja at that point in the series, this decision seems to contradict the core principles of her role on the battlefield. An aspect that draws some justified criticism is her failure to destroy the Rinnegan which ultimately led to devastating consequences and loss of life once Madara obtained it from Obito. However, it's important to note that this decision is often subject to excessive hatred as some fans fail to grasp Sakura's mindset and ideology at that particular stage in the story. Sakura is often criticized for her perceived lack of emotional strength to fight and kill Sasuke herself, despite having multiple opportunities to do so. However, this criticism is fundamentally unfair, especially when considering the intricate relationship and conflicting emotions she experiences towards him throughout the series. This particular moment exemplifies another instance where fans fail to empathize with Sakura's perspective and personal philosophy throughout the entirety of the story. The level of hate directed towards her for this decision is undoubtedly excessive and perhaps unwarranted altogether. The major reason fans of Naruto classify Sakura as stupid is the relationship she had with Sasuke. Sakura's love for Sasuke resulted in considerable pain for her. Despite her efforts, she was unable to persuade him to return to Konoha. And even when Sasuke committed wrongful acts, Sakura continued to hold him in high regard. She endured years without seeing or speaking to him, yet her feelings for him remained steadfast. 
Regardless of Sasuke's actions, Sakura's love for him persisted, even though he did not seem to reciprocate her feelings. Despite having ample time and opportunities to move on, she remained committed to her love for Sasuke. Most fans failed to grasp the complexity and depth of Sakura's relationship with Sasuke when they ended up getting married. Fans frequently criticized her decision to marry someone as murderous, hateful, and criminal as Sasuke. Although some fans may argue that like many relationships, Sasuke's and Sakura's marriage portrayed a realistic aspect of human dynamics, where one party may overlook certain flaws in the other due to the love they had for that person. In the Naruto spin-off, Boruto, Sakura, and Sasuke are depicted as a married couple with a daughter named Sarada. Due to Sasuke's troubled past and extended absence from home, Sarada begins to doubt the authenticity of her parentage leading her to believe that Sakura is not her biological mother. Sakura bears some responsibility for this situation due to her lack of transparency with her daughter regarding Sasuke's past. Frustrated and seeking the truth, Sarada decides to independently investigate her origins and mistakenly takes a DNA test that suggests Karin is her biological mother. However, Sarada eventually discovers the truth when Sasuke and Sakura reunite during a battle against Shin Ochiha. This entire ordeal could have been prevented had Sakura been more forthcoming and honest with her daughter. Do you also feel that Sakura is stupid? Do let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.